Hi, today we're going to go through the bottleneck effect, the founder effect, and genetic drift. Let's get started. Genetic drift includes chance events that cause alleles to fluctuate unpredictably. Alleles are the genetic variation in a population. Genetic drift has drastic effects on smaller populations as opposed to larger populations which are more likely to withstand the effects. That doesn't mean that larger populations will not experience genetic drift. Uh, large populations will, uh, any type of population will always be experiencing genetic drift. However, the smaller populations are the ones that will feel it the most. For instance, if genetic drift is strong enough, uh, an allele in a population can be completely wiped out. And so there are two types of genetic drift. There's the bottleneck effect and the founder effect. We're going to start with the bottleneck effect. The bottleneck effect is a sudden reduction in population size. As you can see in the diagram on to the right, we start with an original population and due to a bottlenecking event, uh, such as a natural disaster or excessive predation, which is usually the case, a population will decrease dramatically. And this will lead to reduced genetic variability. This has a devastating effect on um, how a population is able to breed and whether they'll be able to uh, reproduce successfully and whether they'll be able to have any sort of genetic variation between individuals of that population. The most common example of bottleneck effect is the greater prairie chicken. And so what occurred with this is originally there were millions of these chicken, uh, chickens all around the United States, specifically in uh, Illinois. And due to excessive hunting and the destruction of their habitats, uh, the population size of these greater prairie chickens went from millions to 50. And this population uh, of the greater prairie chickens experienced low levels of genetic variation. Only 50% of their eggs actually hatched. So this had a devastating effect on how they were able to reproduce and give birth uh, to the next generation of chickens. And because of that, their population dwindled. The next effect that we're going to talk about is the founder effect. And this occurs when the few individuals become isolated from a larger population. This new population uh, that becomes isolated from the original larger population is going to have a different gene pool than the original one. For instance, what we start with on the left is a population of red and green ladybugs. However, after an event occurs, a new population is established from the original population that includes only four red ladybugs. And so what we could deduce here is that this new population, uh, the gene pool that it belongs to is different from the original population from which it descended. And this is a classic example of the founder effect because this new population will have drastically, uh, a drastically different gene pool than the original population. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Please like the video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.